Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to season two of Seven Days to Die. I'm the Radio Man 03, and it is awesome to have you along. All right, we got our feet wet in the first season, 16.2. 16.3 came out, it was a few days ago, actually several days ago when the, the, um, the, the, the stable version came out. You guys let me know on Friday, I can't remember what day it was, September 1st, I think. Uh, and it was going to be this big, long holiday weekend, Labor Day weekend. But I was gone all Labor Day weekend camping. Now, back when we were doing season one, I said, those those of you, make sure you leave your comments and stuff like that. And you guys all did a great job. And and we had a lot of fun with that, with the season one. I learned a lot, got my feet wet with a lot of, a lot of your help out there. So I said that I had an interesting way that we were going to come up with a seed for season two. Now, season one was George Romero, all lowercase. Had some fun with it. This time what I did was everybody who left a comment on Monday, I took everybody's name down, put them on a piece of paper, folded them up, put them into Variety 3's hat, held it over her head and said, okay, pick a name. And the name she drew out, which is going to be our seed name, was Gail 4447 just like that. So that's the seed name. So everybody who commented in the first season had a shot at becoming the seed for season two. That's our seed. Everything here is pretty much normal. I'm on very much noob stage. I'm on Nomad. I didn't go to the lower, but you know, I've, I've got things pretty, basically, I guess what you guys would say was probably too easy. But for me, being a new guy at the game, I, I don't think it's going to be all that easy for me. <laughs> I didn't die last season, which was great. Uh, we only made it, we almost made it to day 21. And this season, I want to go a little bit faster at it, hopefully, and get a little further along a little bit quicker. So I'm going to let the world generate, and then I'll come right back. All right, we're nearly there. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but it says creating player. Uh, my game used to get stuck on creating player, so that's one of the things fixed in 6.3, as is, I guess, the, the world generation's different now, too. But they've fixed a lot of different bugs in it. So let me know. So Gale, 4447, drops us off in the snow right away. The wasteland can be an unforgiving place, and you look like you could use some help, and closes a short guide to help you survive. If you complete it, we just might take in a new citizen. The White River Settlement, it's real, and it's safe. Basic survival is your active quest. So upper right-hand corner, if you're new to the game, upper right-hand corner is what we're looking at there for the basic survival stuff. And it's giving us a bit of a quest to do. Uh, e, there we go. You know, I'm so used to the F. I feel like the... Uh, mouse is extremely uh, fast right now. If we stay right in this general area, uh, no one's going to spawn, no one's going to kill us, and we've got sort of a, a free zone. Boy, those things are tough to hit sometimes, huh? So we're going to pick up fiber right here. Fiber, 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 and these are stones. So we're going to pick up these stones as well. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn down my mouse sensitivity. I don't know why, but it is just, like, super quick for me. It's making my eyes go buggy. Hopefully it's not bothering you guys either. So that's the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take care of these these quests in the upper right-hand corner. Uh, pretty simple stuff. Uh, is fiber. You're going to make a bed. You're going to make some clothes. Um, you're going to make a, uh, your first tool and that sort of stuff. And you need all of these things. So there's a rock. This is going to give you a couple of pieces of wood right here, I believe. Yeah, that's three wood right there. So we're going to hit these guys right here for the initial wood that we're going to need. Wow, that's weird. <sighs> Boy, what's up with that? <laughs> that's a little strange. There's some nice rocks around here. Looks like we're definitely uh, in deep in the snow biome, though, huh? Snowberries. There's some snowberries here for food. So that's nice. Uh, but you don't want to eat too many of those, right? Because you get sick. So we're not going to worry too much about the snowberries. Oh, there's a bag. Look at this, guys. Right off the bat. Nothing. All right. A little more fiber. Fiber, fiber, fiber makes the world go round. Bird's nests. You know, that's the nice thing about the snow biome, huh? Is that you can see so much of the stuff from so far away. Boy, it would be great to find... Oh, I see a house over here. Okay, I see a house over there. I think it's going to depend which direction we go, because it's the, the last quest is to find the trader, right? Uh, to go to the trader's place. So I think that might be the last place, the, the, the direction we wind up traveling. Now, what I don't know is, does this uh, affect my temperature? Just a little bit more of this. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and... Uh, 
That is so bizarre, man. These hitboxes on these guys are really... Um, there it goes. Did we get this bird nest? Yeah, it's empty. Okay, so let's go... Let's go tab. Let's make our... Well, it's right now it says craft a bedroll. So let's do that. Craft a bedroll. Let's eat that guy too while we're doing it. This time we're not getting rid of our claim block. We're keeping it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Indeed, we're keeping that. We're going to have to make some clothes too, and that's going to take fiber. So we're just going to grab some more of this fiber right here real quick. Just a few more of these stones. I don't think we need to grab any more of these little stones because we can actually do uh, the bigger stones in just a second here. Okay, so a bedroll. We're going to drop that down. There we go. Right click. Takes that down. Okay, then what do they want? Next quest, please. Next quest. Clothes. Okay, so next is clothes. Let's go ahead and uh, make that our favorite. Uh, we're going to favorite the campfire. Uh, if we click on the fiber, it's so much easier. It just takes you right to the recipes. And let's go to plant fiber gloves. Uh, plant fiber hood. Pants. Shirts. I don't use the hotkeys because some of them uh, kind of cross over, I guess, and that's that's kind of a problem. Let me we can click on this and go where, where. Come on, close where. I got twenty four stone on me. The next next item is the axe, so we'll, we're going to take care of that next, and then we can really get going. And that's when I'll I think I'll break away a little bit, and we'll I'll do a little bit of grind work on my own here. So where I'm excited about starting another season, very excited. All right, that takes care of that. Let's replace some of this fiber that we just used up. We're getting like two for each of these little bushes that we're beating up. Oh, it wants me to craft the axe right away, too. Okay, so stone. Stone recipes. Uh, stone axe. Let's make that a favorite as well. And then let's go ahead and craft one of those. Well, let's craft two of those, actually. We're going to throw this stuff into our inventory. We're going to keep the bandage down here handy. And uh, the water. Ah, we can leave that up there. There we go. And we've got an axe now. So that's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now we can really get we can really get some some decent stuff put together here. So let's grab a couple of the trees real fast before we head on out, and uh, we'll grab some stone as well, and we'll be ready to go. So oh man, what did I what did I do? Oh man, I thought I, I thought it was asking me to. Oh, I'll have to look back at the video. I, I cracked the wrong thing, obviously, right? Yeah. All right, so let's uh, take, 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 and take. All right, and then we're going to scrap all this stuff. I'll be right back. I'm going to get this fixed up. I don't know what I did wrong there, but I obviously made these guys prematurely, and now that part of the uh, whatchamacallit is sitting there waiting for us to uh, to do it all again. So I'm going to do that and uh, get, some, uh, get a few more materials kind of put together. Again, if you stay in this general area, if you're new to the game, uh, nothing should spawn and attack you. You shouldn't have to worry about zombies. I'll see you be right back. Next on the list. Five, four, three. Next on the list is to create a wooden club. So let's go back into tab. Let's go wooden. There is some food walking around over here. A uh, wooden club. Let's craft that guy. We're actually going to take... I've been busting up some rocks. Just a few rocks here. And we got that taken care of. I think it's the wooden bow. Gathers wooden craft wooden bow. So uh, wooden bow. Let's craft that. And then it's going to want us to craft arrows. So arrow. There we go. Arrows. And let's max that out. We got 19 arrows. And I think I might want to take out this pig. There we go. We've got our bow. There is a uh, boar over here. You know, they attack. It might not be a very smart thing to do, actually, to uh, shoot a bow, uh, a, a boar. Uh, let's grab our bedroll as well, since we're we're right here. I mean, we didn't go anywhere, but he disappeared on me. I don't see him anymore. He was just walking around right here. 
Hmm. Interesting. What's next? Place wood frames. Okay, so now we gotta make some wood frames, uh, place some wood frames, and upgrade wood frames. Okay, let's go wood frames, wood frame. What's it want? It wants three of those, so let's make up, uh... I'm gonna make 15. It wants us to place them. And upgrade them. So if you go on here and right click, if you got the material in your in your uh, inventory, you can upgrade these guys. There we go. That takes care of that. Next, I believe, is a campfire, right? Wait for it. Craft a campfire. Craft. There we go. It's not going to take very long. Boom. There we go. And we can take care of this one. You have earned skill points. Spend them by accessing your inventory and navigating the skills menu. Then highlight the desired skill or perk and purchase it. All right. Locate the trader. All right. Let's take out our map. Let's see what we got. We got snow for as far as the eye can see it right now. And, okay, he's going to be, looks like, to our northwest this way. So, uh, before we do that, though, I did see a couple of um, tree stumps. There's one right down here. I know I saw at least one tree stump that I would like. There's another one right over there next to it. And a third one, just a little further away. I'm looking for honey. <laughs> a jar of honey. If there's anyone who's going to get infected... It's me. It's plastic. Don't really need that right now, but what the heck, we'll take it. Tin cans are good. Oop. Nothing. There's another one over here. Now, we're probably going to activate the zombies because we moved around so far. There's a gun part we could sell to the trader, I imagine. Uh, bird's nests. We're going to want these guys for sure. Here's another one. This is my main concern right now, is the bird nest. There we go. Let's go tab. Let's get some more arrows going. Uh, I believe I can go like this. Recipes. Arrows. Another nine. I think I need more stone, huh? I think I'm low on the stone front. There's that boar. I see him now. He's right up there. Can he get me on top of a rock? if he could get me up on top of a rock or not. There goes a rabbit, too. I see him up in the right-hand corner running away. We need a lot of everything at the beginning here. So we'll head off towards the trader. Hopefully we're going to... You know what? We should probably look over the ridges and stuff and see if there's any roads. You guys told me at the beginning of the last season, episode two or so, that following a main road is always a good idea. That tends to bump you right into a town. We do have a little house over there that could be helpful. And there's possibly a road right next to that house as well. Maybe we'll hit up that house first and see what's going on. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got a little bit of wood, a little bit of stone. i got a backup axe going here just in case. Let's take these guys and get them out of our inventory. Also, what I want to do is how much iron do I have? 63. If I take that and scrap that... It's going to give me 116. So what basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrap this club and I'm going to make a reinforced club. The, the, the hog wandered off to where I don't know where he is anymore. Uh, iron reinforced club. I knew this iron here before I could do this. But this club is much better than this other, this log we have here in our inventory. So we're going to do that right there and we're going to take this one and scrap it. And that should give us a little bit better... A little bit better of a tool. We could put water in this. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to get was a stone shovel. Let's get a stone shovel as well going. And that is going to allow us to dig up some snow so I can make water. That always seems to be one of the biggest things I, I don't have enough of is water. I just run way low on it. So let's get that down on our hot bar. That's going to be a much better club. And what do we got for points right now to spend? Uh, tool smithing. We have five. Toolsmithing, yes, I'm doing that right away. Awesome. And back to tab again. Do I have what I need? I've got that iron there, okay. A stone shovel, okay, awesome. Let's put these guys down here. And then let's grab a little bit of snow. 
so I can make more water. Snowballs are great. It's one snowball per jar, right? To make to make water. How many is that? That's uh, 49. A few more would be nice. It all gives you skill. I'm just going to come down here and do this. This just makes more sense to be down here. Come on. That's weird, huh? Are the hitboxes mixed up a little bit right, right now? Do we have some trouble with those, maybe? Or is that just kind of a seven days to die thing for a little while? Those of you who might be new to the channel, I am very new to this game. I think we've got through 15, 16 episodes in season one and had gotten started on a base, uh, just a small base, actually. Let's do that, and let's go back over to here. I'm going to head over to that house, and we're going to check it out and see if we can get... Um, that's empty. Get uh, a little, uh, little something going there, hopefully. Uh, let's check this guy right here. That's empty. Okay, I already checked that one. We're going to go over to this house, and then we're going to move on to head for the trader. I think there might be a road over here. I'm not quite sure. If we meet zombies out here, they are going to be of the large type, the lumberjack zombies. And uh, I don't know that I really feel like fighting the lumberjack, lumberjack zombies at this point in time. There's a ton of stone nodes out here, though, huh? Get those eggs. Those eggs are going to be important to us. And hopefully we will find a deer. Hopefully. Another bird nest right over here. Awesome. I love playing this game. <laughs> I do. What's this here? Blueberries. Oh, that's one thing I never found last time. Remember, we, we got it off a zombie during a, during a horde night. I want the blueberries. I want to grow blueberries right away. Another thing you guys mentioned in the first season is, is that farming by the third day is, is a very good idea. Oh, that's desert over there. So that is going to be very, very handy for us. We'll be able to get some yucca seeds. And all that good stuff going. Yucca and uh, aloe vera for bandages. Oh, Radio is happy to see that. Oh, yes, he is. You know what? I'm going to take this. Recipes. Uh, blueberry seed. Craft. Before I lose it. <laughs> before I shove it down my mouth. I'm going to eat this here snowberry. Oh, crap. Radio, you should have read. That's a blueberry, you idiot. Because <laughs> that's what I'll do. Oh, yeah, I'll do it. If there's anybody out there that'll do it, I'll do it. I'm not a big, uh, not a big reader. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. Life and times of radio. How many times can you screw up? There's going to be many moments where you are going to yell at your TV. At me, I bet. I see that on the, the comments every now and again. Oh, radio, I was screaming at the screen. I was, I was screaming at the screen. Ooh, look at that. A blood bag. Oh, man, that's that's a little bit of health right there, huh? That's some health. We could eat that blood bag. Delish. I hope it's the thick kind of blood. I do. Stone, stone, and a stone. And there we go. We got a little bit of water. Oh, look at the sun. The sun, she's coming out. Oh, there's, a, there's our first zombie right up ahead there. Do you see him? Lumberjack guy. This guy's going to give us fiber and yucca fruit. The saguaro. This is yucca fruit as well. And yucca fruit. This wood, yucca fruit. And there's a buzzard right off the bat too. Let's go deal with him first. He's going to give us a ton of feathers. We got to watch out for snakes too while we're out here. In the desert. I believe if I crouch... Control for crouch. I'll be okay. Just watch for that lumberjack. Does he not come after us anymore? Seems to be flying the same pattern over and over again.
There's a zombie, a punk over there. And he seems to be stuck. Oh man, I sure would like him. He's got a whole bunch of feathers on him. Let's make this guy our first zombie kill. Hey you! Hey buddy! Oh jeez, I went up over that plant. Nice. Big guy over there. Real big guy. We're looking for the aloe too, guys. Don't forget aloe. Aloe plants. We've got to have those too. Hopefully we can get some farming going right away. Just make a hoe and get it going. Yeah, he's stuck somehow. Maybe he got himself unstuck now? Yeah, he can't hit you when you crouch, I don't think. Nice. There we go. There we go. Let's get our axe back. Oh, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. Where's that zombie at? Oh, where's that zombie we killed? There he is. There's his gut pile. We need his bone. We need a shiv. Oh, do I have not have any room? I didn't have any room in my inventory. Dang it. There's the buzzard. Yeah, we're just going to chop him up. We'll get what we can off of him. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's go arrows. There we go. We're set on arrows for a little bit now. That's nice. That's real nice. I love that. That's good stuff right there, huh, guys? Let's get a few more of these yuccas. Uh, we will plant the uh, aloe vera and get that going as well. Uh, we want more aloe vera, though. We definitely want more aloe vera. And the yucca... Let's see here. We're going to be hungry here pretty dang quick as well. Where is uh, the yucca fruit? There's the yucca fruit. We could eat these guys. These guys are going to keep us alive. Awesome. Very, very cool. Oh, there's a bag over by this car. Okay, we got more points there. What do we get? Your skill in scavenging is now level 2. Where'd that lumberjack go? He meander back into the snow. I don't want to. I don't want to lose sight of him. <laughs> I think that would be a big, 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 big problem. Big problem. There he is. He's over there. He's twitching away over there. Yeah, there he is, right over there. Let's do him. Let's let's get rid of him. Well, there's a lot of zombies out here in the desert, huh? You see them all? There's like three or four of them out here roaming around. Oh, baby. That was right to the right to the chin. Nice. And a swing. Strap them. Uh, you know what? I need to chop him up. Oh, here comes a cheerleader. She must have lost her leg on a cacti. Oh, sweet mama. Off with her head, I say. Off with her head. Um, dumping the plastic, taking the oil, because the oil is worth something, and I'm going to scrap these guys. I don't think they're going to scrap, because there's no place to scrap them to. Uh, and we're not going to be able to chop this guy up to get a shiv off of him. Oh, man, I've already got a, an inventory problem. Okay, we don't need to do that. Um, let's see, what can what can I do here? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Uh, I've got two axes. Let's throw this one down here. We'll scrap that one there. Uh, the arrows are almost done. Almost done. Hmm. 
Mary. Okay, she's not coming. Okay, so let's... Uh, I still don't have room in my inventory. Um, oh, look. Oh, let's see here. Um, I can't make anything right now. Um, wait, arrows. I've only got one piece of wood left. That's it. That's the problem. That's th that's that's wood. I should be able to chop that. But the hitboxes are kind of messed up a little bit. Let's get a little more wood. We'll get those arrows out of our inventory. Yeah, at this rate, you know, if I just go in the house, I can get another zombie or two and do that. I need to put a, a, a storage box up, though. Uh, okay, let's craft those arrows. That's going to get rid of those guys. And then let's do storage. Uh, storage chest. OR, st secure storage chest. I need more wood for that. All right, back, back here, back here, back here. Wow, guys, this is awesome. Already uh, having inventory issues. Huh, that's nice. Inventory issues are nice. Okay, now we can do a storage chest. Craft that guy up. We're going to drop that rotten flesh. We're going to grab this guy right here. And we're going to put him right here. And we're actually going to stick this guy right on the side of this house. And what don't we necessarily need? We don't need that right now. The paper. That stuff right there. And... That tin can, that piece of glue. We don't need that. So now I want to get... I need a shiv. I need a bone shiv if we're going to do any kind of skinning of animals later on down the road to maximize the amount of meat we get. No bone. Dang it. Uh, Mary. Mary, where are you? Where'd you go, sweetheart? There she is. <laughs> Sorry, Mary. She was a good mother. She was a lovely mother. Come on, I need a bone. There's bound to be a zombie or two inside this little house here, too. Oh my gosh. This axe bites so hard. The next one we make is going to be much better. We're almost there. Oh, there we go. Recipes. Bone shiv. Craft. There we go. Alright, nice. Throw that out of here. Still grabbing up this stuff here, too. Uh, we're bound to be out of wood again, I'm sure. Obviously, I don't I didn't get enough. There might not be anybody in there. This is wood right here. There we go. Beautiful. All right. And wood. This is wood. What time of day is it? It is 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and we are nowhere near a house right now. Nowhere near going towards the trader. Let's check the map. Is there a road anywhere out here right now? There's a little road leading away from this house, and I bet that's going to go to some place we want to be. Let's check out this house. If we wake him up, no big deal. There is somebody awake in there. That's nice. We'll let him out. Oh. You're slumming it, huh, buddy? Oh, that was right next to his head. I was being very quiet when I came in here. 
Oh, the zombie spawning behind you, too, is supposed to be uh, a done deal as well. We don't need the seed. I see Mary outside the door there. We gotta be careful of her. Yeah, let's deal with her while we get this opportunity to. Whoopsie. Missed ya. Come on, darling. There we go. That a bad that a girl. Let's eat it. Get back to the house. I think I saw a medicine cabinet in here. Okay, we're done in here. Yes. All right, beautiful. All right. Uh, let's check this chest over here. What don't we need and what do we need out of this chest? Um, boy, we want all of it, don't we? We always want all of it. Um, we could drop that. We could sell that. That's just the thing is we could sell that. Um, the moldy bread we can't do anything with right now because we don't have the means to do anything with it. We can scrap that guy. We could take this glue now. Um, what's this going to turn into? He's worth 24 bucks. Um, I'd rather not scrap him then. Let's eat this guy. We've got food, so we don't have to worry about food too much right now. Um, let's drop the torch and grab the coal. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Uh, check the map. Let's right click. Quick waypoint. Escape. We're headed for the trader. Oh, jeez, ouch, that hurt. Booking down cars everywhere. Twenty five percent water, he said, right? Drink. There we go, beautiful. Let's go tab. Let's make another um, axe. Uh, favorite, sorry. Favorite stone axe. I always have to click it twice. Craft. Scrap. That should get... We should have a better axe. A level 50 axe now. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, our axe skills are up a little bit. That's going to take us a little less uh, a little less wear and tear on the old axe. Your skill and construction tool is now level 5. That's good. That's coming up. I will take that. Another lumberjack. I really don't want to do that. I'd rather just go find the, uh, whatchamacallit, the trader. Yucca juice. How many? We can make three of those. They should fill in the inventory slot. They're going to fill up our empty jars, so the yucca fruit juice is really good, especially since we're running around the desert. That's a nice thing. Okay, so that takes care of that. We're going to have a little bit of that going for us. Let's grab a little more wood here. I wanted to get down the road this season. I wanted to get going and find, hopefully, a town. Hopefully, there's something right over the ridge here. We're going to grab a little bit more of this wood on our way. It's not a whole lot, but it's better than what we've got, which is not much at all right now. So where on the map is this this trader? He's through the he's through the snow. I don't know if he's going to be open. It's 2:55 in the afternoon. I like to try to be where I'm going to be for the night uh, before the sun goes down. And on this first night, I will be doing some digging. The first uh, season, I would just sit there all night long because I was just so nervous about making a noise. But this time, I'll be getting underground and doing some of that. What do we got here? Blueberries. Nice. Burning barrel. Let's go see if there's anything we can sell this guy. Uh, just heads up, this guy can have some pretty nasty chit-chat for us. 
You're not bringing counterfeit money in here, are you? Uh, I am not bringing counterfeit money to you, no sir. I would never do something like that. That would be wrong. Um, I hear a zombie. Uh, let's sell the let's sell the lead. And let's sell the oil. Can we sell the oil? Yeah. There we go. 117 bucks. Anything else we want to sell? Um, God, I really don't want to get rid of the nitrate powder, but to be honest with you, I don't think we need it right now. Can't sell any more of that, so now we got just one left. That's kind of silly, isn't it? And... That's it. So what does he have here for... Uh, does he have any food I've got some basic stuff here yeah I don't need any arrows we've got pl plenty of arrows right now the mining helmet would be nice but we don't have it how much is he selling that claw hammer for whoa I probably can't buy anything just yet anyways this is the secret stash. You could buy a point for that if you didn't know it. Um, don't let the door hit you on your way out. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you, they say. Um, what do we got in here? Food? Can of miso. Um, chicken soup. <laughs> One can of chicken soup is all I could buy off of that. Is this busted or workable? Ooh, this, this works. Chemistry station. Oh, that one works. I can't steal that. <laughs> Let's check what he's, else he's got in here. Destroyed workbench. Anything in it? Uh, I'll take the cloth fragments. Might as well. Scrap that. I can't use anything in there. What's he got over here? Anything worthwhile? football helmet. I think I can actually sell that football helmet to him. Is there anything upstairs here? Just some chairs, which we could tear apart with a wrench if we had one, and use the parts. Um, okay. <clears throat> the blueberry bushes. All nicely placed on fertilized soil, huh? Listen to the flag. That's really cool, huh? The flag is like blowing in the wind up there. That's pretty awesome. Can I sell this helmet to him? Uh, how about I empty your pockets? He, I didn't. Oh, there it is, right there. Let's sell. There we go. All right, beautiful. A sale is a sale. A sale is a sale. A yep. Scumbag like you. A scumbag. Does this work? Oh, that one works too. That forge is a viable forge. Okay, nothing here. Looking around the back side. Nothing. This is another trash bag. Let's check this trash bag. You never know what might be in it. There we go. I'll take that can. Cement works here. Search, search destroyed. Okay, it's 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 busted. Oh, we'll take those stones. That's beautiful. Now I don't have to chop up another stone. All right, there we go. Some corn seeds. Okay, corn seeds, that's a good thing. All right, we're done here. Let's check the map first. Okay, so we've got desert snow. Now we're in a forest area. So that's kind of nice three little biomes right there going on, I think. Let's go, uh, let's go to our skills. Weaponsmithing. Let's buy one of those. We have ten points. And how about... Um, Sexual Tyrannosaurus. Sexual Tyrannosaurus. Bye. Excellent. Okay, awesome. We're, we're looking good. Our stamina is going to be better now. And we should be making level 50 weapons as well. So with that said... I know I saw a bird nest right here. I know I did. I thought I did. With that said, let's go ahead and scrap this bow. Bow... Wooden bow. Let's craft another wooden bow. That should go right into the inventory slot it needs to be in. 
And that's going to be very good. Very good indeed. I was headed for this trail here. Yeah, I see you. I'm not interested in you guys. Come on now, leave me alone. Can't you see I'm busy? I want to find a town. That's back towards the snow biome. We don't want to go that way. Just blow past these guys here real fast. Zoom. Off we go. Keep my eyes open for deer. Let's take a look at us. How we doing? Feels like 79. Wellness. What's he What's he huffing and puffing about? Because our, our stamina got down to almost 50%. Uh, I don't need to kill a biker, dude. We need to, uh, see that's this is where I'm I'm feeling like this is what I need to be doing is I need to be focusing on getting us near a town so we can get something going right away before I'm I'm like pressured on day seven. But there's a wonderful tent right over here, a military tent that we could easily hit up. Oh, Mary. Killed so many of you already today. Oh, so so many mamas, so many mamas. Oop, bird's nest. There we go, beautiful. I don't think this is a military tent thing. I think this is just some people that were camped out. <laughs> They're so funny. Oh, God. Look out. He's getting right into my face. There could be some decent stuff here. Bring him out to the road here. It's a little bit clearer. Come on, Pete. Go down. Atta boy. Atta boy. Shh. Go to sleep now. Yeah, I don't want your sandwich. Oh, okay, let's scrap. Scrap. Here we go. We're going to be scrapping a bunch of stuff until we can find a place to kind of settle in. Oh my god, what's all this? Coffee seed? Um, dropping the lead, grabbing the coffee seed. I don't have an empty glass jar in my inventory. Are you kidding me? How's that even possible? Oh, let's, uh, let's do that. Let's grab that glass jar. Well, geez. Hunting rifle receiver. Oh my god. Hunting rifle receiver. We can actually take that and scrap it. Some chairs in here. Is there a medicine cabinet in here too? I don't see a medicine cabinet. Let's check the car. We're going to have to come back here. Nothing in here. Still continuing with the bird's nest, though. You never stop. Never stop checking bird nests. If you're new, don't do it. Get them all. Oh, this guy right here. Ha-ha! 
I've got to ask you a question, sir. Oh, boy. Is there anything inside here? I understand sometimes they hide stuff in the logs. It doesn't look like anything's hidden there. Uh, we could take one of these. Let's grab one of these logs. I don't think we have a whole lot of wood. And then back to the trail we go. I hope there's a town nearby here. A city? That would be really nice. So back this way and up over the hill we go. Now there's a, there's a house back there that we did not check. I realize that. Uh, but this is all stuff we can come back and explore. If I can just get us to a town. That's my main goal. Looks like we got a big body of water out here. That's nice. Ah, oh, main road. Here we go. Which way do we go? This way. We go this way, guys. Okay, I'm gonna go for a little bit on the road and see if I can find a town, and I'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, there she is. There's town. Burt Reynolds is here too, by the way. Wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be a first episode of uh, a Radio Seven Days to Die without Burt Reynolds showing up. Hey, Burt. Oh, watch it, watch it, watch it there. Oh, that was off to the right a little bit, just a little bit. You got a nice hunting rifle on it? Stop twitching like that, dude. Oh my god. Oh, nice spin, man. Bet you didn't know Burt Reynolds at all his own stunts, did you? Oh, no rifle on you? You bum. Alright, looks like we got us a town down here. A little bit of a town. Next to a river. That's kind of cool, huh? So let's see. Let's take a look at our map. What is this down here? Oh, it's, it's, it's Lucy. They're all coming up to visit us today on today's episode. Look at this. Lucy, come here. Ooh, that right to the shoulder. Ooh, right to the throat. And right to the head. <laughs> That's what we needed was more blueberry seeds. We got like a thousand of them. <laughs> Alright, this is good though. We found ourselves a town. Awesome. Is it going to get bigger? That's the question I have right now. Uh, looks like it's pretty... It's not bad. It's not a big, huge town though. Pete? What up, boy? Oh! Oh! Sweet mother of Mary. Yep. Yeah, you're going to have to go see the doctor about that one, pal. And nothing. Nothing on the dead zombie. There's nothing there on that there dead zombie. Oop, lag. A little bit of lag, a little bit of lag. Looks like we've got a, a one of the gas companies right there. I would guess that's what that is. This might not be a bad little town to set up next to. What I noticed is that a lot of supplies come in from the zombies as well. A lot of the stuff you need. And if you run into town and hit a building or two... You usually get quite a bit of stuff. Let's get Mr. Moob here taken care of. Oh no, I had you. I had you. I had you dead in my sights, boy. There we go. Beautiful. And you're out. Okay, nice. Anything else here? Oh, this would be pretty good. This could be this could be nice. Do I want to live in this house? No. We're going to find a spot to put to set up our base, but uh, this might not be a bad area to get set up in to begin with. Let's crouch. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can get accomplished here. see your head. Oh, 
that didn't kill her. There we go, she's down. Is she dead? Yeah, she's dead. Okay, shh. Pretty sneaky like now. We're gonna come over here and do the same thing. Break out this here window. Let's see if those two were doing any breeding in here. Oh, they were. They were doing it. Oh, come on now. That's bull. Where is she going? Okay, there's one more in here. I saw one more. I see Billy right here. <laughs> Billy, were you hiding from me, son? might be laying on somebody. Oh, jeez. We go in now. We have food. We have stuff to make water. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so wood frames, bandage off. Box yourselves in. Boom. Boom. A little bit of that. Come around here, and we're going to knock this glass pane out here. Nice. Do a little bit of this. A little bit of this. Uh, should, should we check the bookshelf? Nothing. Oh, man. That's too bad, huh? All right, guys. I think I'm going to leave it right there. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang out here for the night. I'm going to dig a hole in the floor, and I'm just going to start doing some digging. Uh, we're going to put a chest together in here, and we're going to just do some digging. And I'm going to level up as much as I can and get some tools going. Let's see. What do we have for wood on us and stuff? Right now, 244 wood, and we have uh, 146 stone. So that should keep me in tools through the night, I would think. And then tomorrow, uh, I will record again, the next day, of course, and we'll go out and we'll probably go into town to see if there's anything there that we need to see. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, do a little bit of looting, get some good stuff, and we'll make this... Oh, my axe is busted. Scrap and uh, stone axe. Craft. I should go right back in the inventory. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll, we'll stockpile some stuff and get some things going. And then I'll pick a spot where we're going to build a base and get going. You guys kind of saw a little bit of the area outside, but probably not too much of it. I am going to have to go back out today and get some more, uh, some more wood since we're doing this right here. And getting things kind of uh, boxed up so they don't come in after us. But now I know that once I'm underground, they can't hear me anyway, so I'll be fine. I'm just hoping nobody spawns in here is what I'm hoping. How much wood do you get for you to break a chair like that? Three pieces of wood. It's not too bad. Three and four. And we've got one block here. And we do this right here. Just taking you guys. Let's see if you might be new. There you go. We are all boxed in. We should be safe and sound. And I can actually use the cupboard right here to put some of our stuff in. I should probably keep that on me. But we can drop our stuff off in here. Instead of making a chest, we've got this available to us. So we can do this right here. And that's going to save us a little bit of time. And uh, a, a bit of wood as well. We don't have to make the wood. Wrench? Oh, no wrench, unfortunately, huh? Okay, that's going to stay on my inventory. <laughs> Last time I left that behind, that was a stupid mistake. Uh, so let's grab our bedroll. One other thing we're going to want to do is put our bedroll down. And we'll put that right over... Well, right over here by the bed. 
Let's get this junk out of here. There we go. And anything else? Oh, there's a crate. Let's check the crate. I don't want to leave you guys hanging on this. Let's find out what's inside the crate. Well, there you go. There's nothing in the crate. Anything cooler? Some food, maybe? Oh, three water jars. Nice. Let's 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 scan the room before I leave. Pears. Nothing. Nothing. Dirty bird's nest up in the corner. That's always interesting. Okay, there we go. And I think have I searched the room? All that's not searchable. Grab these wooden chairs. I'm going to make a campfire and put that down just so I have it, just in case I need it. I should probably shiv these guys and get these all cut up. I should actually get some new... Um... Ooh. Oh, I'm not searching it first. I should actually get some new tools and stuff made right off the bat, for sure. And we want to get this out of here, too. That way we don't get stuck on it. And there we go. All right, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03, and I want you to have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I do look forward to talking to you again next time. Mmm, juicy.